All right, let's make a really was, awkward transition into talking about the new Beyonce album. <laughs> I was thinking about full figured. I, was like, <laughs> I didn't say that. With all due respect, respect With all due respect course, to Mrs. Carter, <laughs> you, Mrs. Carter, indeed. Queen uh, Beyonce dropped the uh, album cover for her upcoming country music album. I want to. Uh, I, I would assume everyone who has cared about this has seen it, but I, I want to uh, give a little bit of the context. She said the album is. She's dressed up in red, white, and blue. She's riding a white horse. Tyler already talked about the importance of the symbolism of the horse in this three acts that she's going to be doing. She's also carrying an American flag. And she referenced uh, in discussing what went into the uh, cover for Cowboy Carter. She referenced her 2016 Country Music Awards performance with the Dixie Chicks, uh, where she was uh, heckled from the uh, crowd. She said, this album has been over five years in the making. It was born out of an experience that I had years ago where I did not feel welcomed, and it was very clear that I wasn't. Mm. What was your guys' reaction to the album cover and to this way that she is uh, taking artistically to deal with that feeling of not being welcomed? I mean, I, I love the motivation for the album. Uh, she basically just the, the, the MJ meme, and I took that personally in like a fucking audio Facts. for her, right? Facts. So yeah, Facts. so yeah, I I love that. You're not gonna tell Beyonce what she can and can't do. Are you fucking crazy? So <laughs> very much, very much. Like I'm not even a big country dude, but of course I'm a big Beyonce fan, so I'm gonna be locked in for this. So you know, knowing that there was that added motivation of her wanting to prove motherfuckers wrong on that, that for sure piques my interest even a bit more here. I mean, yeah, I'm not Beyonce saying I'm Beyonce. The fuck you mean? I'm me. I, I can, I'm, I'm, a, I, well, you do this. Well, I, you say, you say this. Well, I'm going to go ahead and make a whole ass album. You feel me? Fuck you mean? But like, I, I, the American flag, you know, what is, what is the symbolism with that? I'm wondering, you know, I kind of, I mean, I mean for, for, from the picture, it looks like it's, it was just her at a rodeo, right? Like, I don't think she's okay. out here being a patriot or, you know, just, being, I mean, a country you know, album, American flag, what do you, I mean, there's yeah. a, yeah, there's a, uh, I'm, I'm hoping it's a little bit of like reclaiming the space. I would I love do that. Not, I would do love, not fuck with American flag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love if it's that and it spoke to that. But like, yeah, that. Can I don't know if I can say this well. It feels a little like pandering. Ooh. So you think you 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 think Beyonce? So you think she's pandering to white folks? I I I don't I don't I'm not saying she is because I don't think she is. I'm not saying, but that's what it feels like. I'm talking about my feelings when I see American flag, and she's holding that American flag. While you know making a country album that is not generally music that we listen to, we're gonna listen to because of Beyonce. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It feels a particular way to me, and I just would want to know the because like it could be reclaiming. I it think, could be reclaiming, yeah, so, and, so, I, and I so, hope that's so, what it so is. Biko just sent like a little uh, a, a Twitter analysis. It was exactly what I was gonna say, which is the letter that accompanied the photo was about reclaiming spaces where quote you did not feel welcome, and she's holding an American flag. Oh, so perfect, I, like, perfect, I, okay. love that, yeah. love that, love that. That that's I don't think it's about that. And, and you know what? I was no, no, say, no. She if she no. If they, she said it was about that. She just said it's about that, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's her team, yeah, and, right? And, cool, perfect. Yeah, and, perfect. And, and, my, and my counter to your point was going to be, you know, Renaissance was just so celebratory of black people and black gay people in particular, right? Like, yeah, so, yeah. so I was like, I don't see her pandering. To, to white people. I don't see that that would be the next move here in, in, in the trilogy. But then that but then that quote there of how she's reclaiming space because that was what Renaissance was about too. It was about reclaiming these genres that black gay people pioneered. So I'm saying, I never said, I, I was saying I, that's how it feels to me. And I told you, I don't think she did that. I don't think she would do yeah, that. Yeah, Doesn't make yeah. sense for Beyonce to do that. That's and your so emotional wondering. reaction to yes, seeing the American yes. flag. Yeah, to be, to be in the, like, why, like, why are we doing that? You know, and, but speak, but I, I'm glad that's a, what she was, and, I, and it makes sense what she was doing. But yeah, I, it didn't make sense Beyonce holding an American flag. And I was wondering yeah. why. You feel me? Based yeah. on how, she, how vocal she's finished, been when it comes to like the injustices that's going on. You know what I'm saying? So I just finished uh, Billie Jean King's autobiography. And, and I'm always so impressed by people who change society while being like, there's the phrase, uh, joyful warrior. And I think that's it's such a difficult thing to do to like this is Beyonce is making a statement about America on what will be the number one album of the year <laughs> right. and will probably be a fun as fuck album to listen to as well. Right. But right. Like she's saying like th- that ability to transform hurt at injustice into something that's a joyful movement or an album that can bring people along and make them feel included. Like, I think that that's such a rare 
I just feel like there's like a dozen people on earth, a generation who have that right. ability. Sometimes they play baseball. Sometimes they play tennis. Sometimes they make music, you know, like, I, and there's nothing we could, sometimes they want to run for, for president, you know, like, like whatever. But, um, rumored collaborators on the Cowboy Carter album, Dolly Parton, Taylor Swift, Megan Thee Stallion, and Lady Gaga. Wow. All right. That shit it. is going to fucking shift. Right. Right. I hope she. I was hoping my dog Chris Stapleton made an appearance, but right, 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 yeah. right. So he's not as famous as those four people. Could still be, yeah. and you know what I mean. Just it wasn't publicized in that particular tweet. Could still be. It's going to leave so. a dent in the planet. You give know her what the I'm Grammy. Saying? Give her the CMA. I want her to win all the awards just to piss off the people who are like being upset about this in any way. Yeah. That's ah, the thing. That that, that's crazy. the other thing that's great is that the people who are going to be upset are people that we can all enjoy being upset. Like it's <laughs> right, yeah, like, perfect. Like perfect so, like experience. someone yelled at her when she was on stage with the Dixie Chicks, "Get that bitch off the stage!" What someone yelled that from the Country Music Awards, bro? Yelling that with the Dixie Chicks, who 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 went fucking completely left wing with their shit during the during the fucking you know uh, war in Iraq and shit, and Beyonce's the one they single out. That's wild. Yeah. Because it's not about politics, nigga. She black. Yeah, that's racism. exactly. That, that's the point. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. It was always this. <laughs> always, always this. You yeah. feel me? Uh, I, okay, real we... quickly, I just wanted to say that I do feel like I sent this to you a second ago, Mike, too. I, people forget that Beyonce is from Texas. Like, she was probably raised, I mean, I'm assuming, but, like, raised on country music and Dolly Parton. So, like, mm-hmm. oh, the yeah. uproar of people being upset about her putting up Putting out a country music is kind of funny to me because it's like she's in a sense like maybe that's just her going back to her roots and like doing a soulful country r and whatever it is you know so i it's, just it, thought that was interesting i mean it's it, like anytime people try and like say like it, it's like protect the racial purity of country music it's like it's the music of the south and also it all came out of black music tradition <laughs> It's like, yeah. yeah. Like it, it is her culture. It is. The thrill and excitement of March Mania is here, and DraftKings Sportsbook, one of America's top rated sportsbooks apps, is giving new customers a shot to turn five bucks into $150 instantly in bonus bets with any college basketball bet. The men's tournament is a blast every year, but I'm hyped for the women's tourney too. Got to tap in to see Angel Reese, Caitlin Clark, and Juju Watkins. North Carolina listeners, don't forget DraftKings Sportsbook is now live in your state. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Jenkins. New customers can bet five bucks to get $150 instantly in bonus bets only at DraftKings Sportsbook with code Jenkins. The crown is yours. 